What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team of Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. So over the weekend, I was at Knoxville Regionals. I was there uh, Friday. We played GLC. My friend Randall let me borrow his fighting deck. We actually uh, went X and one. I think three one. Got eight hundred um, eight hundred tokens. Actually, I can show eight hundred tickets. Um, I can show you what I got. I can show you what I got. It's pretty exciting. Uh, so first of all, we got this. Look at this thing. Look at this giant chat out. Yo, sick chat out. Let's go. And then also we got this uh, red dice. We got a little red dice there. Uh, yeah, the red dice actually was five hundred points, and the chat out was three hundred. I thought Vince was scamming, um, but it turns out I think the chat out is not Pokemon Center, and the red dice is Pokemon Center. So there we go. So can we post this up in the in, in the video right here? Can you see them? Uh, how the, the fellows, the fellers. Come on, chat out. Ah, uh, close enough. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, we put went went X and one with Red Eyes. It's feeling good. I mean, not Red Eyes. We're fighting GLC, and then day two, I was pretty like, I mean, I was pretty confident in like in Roaring Moon for a good minute since uh there's a list that made like top eight or not nah, top sixteen or something with like, catchers. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna play a variant of that deck. The deck was like, pretty. It was pretty good. Uh, the only change I made is I cut an Earthen Vessel for a Ford Ultra Ball, just being super consistent. I like the deck because I played Dark Patch. I uh, get to play the, the four dark patch, four energy switch. Uh, everything else is pretty standard nowadays. Uh, those play two Iono. Some of us are playing like two judge or one judge, one Iono. I like the one, the two emergency jelly. So um, hypothetically, if you hit Charizard and other matchups, you can survive and stuff like that. Nine dark energy is pretty standard. Four research, two Sada is pretty standard as well too. Uh, this lets play two switch card, one escape rope, which was great to heal and stuff like that. I uh, maybe can kind of switch cards one two. Um, so most of us are playing one one. Uh, like I said, the only thing that I changed from that guy's list was um, the third Earth Vessel for the fourth Ultra Ball. And uh, yeah, you know, I was happy. I was testing a lot that during you know the days coming up to it. I was playing a lot on the ladder. If you if you're uh, following the TikTok channel, you know that I've been grinding up the ladder. And the reason I've been grinding the ladder is because I've been playing uh, Catcher Moon, as I call it. Uh, but yeah, uh, my day did not go well at all, though. Uh, round one, I was sitting around, and I actually, you know, uh, hit a, an unfavorable matchup. Adam is playing a um, a Lost Box, but super effective classes with Tropius and, and Roaring Moon and Iron Hands and all this crazy stuff. And anyway, we did win. He did dead draw game three, did find a Cold Spirit, but we take those. Uh, round two and three and five, we all hit Charizard, and every single one of them um every single one of them played radiant zard and that matchup it swings the matchup so well uh for your opponent and like oh my goodness it makes it so bad for the morning moon player if they get set up now no hypothetically you can win and stuff like that and i think most of the games did go to game three uh they're all very close stuff like that some games i just win because they wouldn't get set up but it was the best two out of three unfortunately um so we did lose rounds two three and five to lost to charizard and then round four we hit a lost box radiant Char charizard so we played Four different decks with Radiant Zard, and I think Radiant Zard is like just makes this match. It just makes this deck so. Oh my goodness, it's so unwinnable. It seems like I I can't tell you how bad it was for me. It was so bad. Hang on, I gotta pretend like I'm paying attention real quick. Um, we could go. Hold on, my hand's pretty dead. Um, we could go. Let's go. Moltres, and I'm gonna go uh, Squawkabillion here. Squawkabillion is here, so I'm gonna go these two. Okay, we are going second. Okay, so we get Earth and Vessel. Uh, discard this to grab two Darks. We can um, Dark Patch there. We can Attach per turn. Um, energy Switch this up to here. Oh no! Oh, I misclicked. Okay, poke stop. Um, <laughs> oh goodness. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, so we could die from wings. We want to. Uh, we're gonna Iono first. But what did they really do anything? But I'm not really paying attention that close to this matchup. If I'm being honest. Um, we got <laughs> we did, we misclicked too, which is pretty funny. Um, so we didn't find anything there. So let's poke a stop. Okay. Can we get it off now? No, we'll still be short. I can't take a not. No, I can't. Uh, yeah. 
I need one energy. Okay. Hmm. I could switch card to motivate. Zora is crying right now. What's wrong, Zora? Hang on, I gotta go see what Zora's doing. Give me, give me one second, guys. Zora's crying. I don't know what's wrong with her. Uh, I don't know. BRB, BRB. What's wrong, Zora? Oh, you're up there. Never mind. You're fine. She's fine. She's fine, guys. She's fine. She's fine. What did I miss? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? She's on top of the counters in the kitchen. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, I, so I hit... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what happened after it. I just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to pay attention. Um, I hit... <laughs> oh, my goodness. One, two, four Radiant Zard decks. And that makes, like I said, the matchup pretty unwinnable. It's pretty bad. It's pretty hard, especially the Lost Fox uh, Charizard. I think I got two owed by that one. It was like, you think it's close? And then, like, it just wasn't close at all. And I'm like, oh my goodness. We didn't hit any of these guys. Uh, the round seven, we played, uh, uh, no, round six, we actually played a really, a really cool opponent playing, like, uh, some deck that their kid had made. It was, like, some fighting deck with, like, Cloth and all this kind of stuff. Not Cloth, like, Red Cloth, Cloth EX. And Arcanine and all this other crazy stuff. It was it was exciting. It was fun to see and talk about their deck and having fun. Uh, the round seven, we did win that one. So that was my second game one. So that was exciting. Uh, hang on, let me do this real quick. Let me retreat to here. Uh, Professor Sada to the active. Draw three. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, attach for turn here. Uh, we're going to Poke Stop. So we discard some Dark Patch, Dark Energies. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So a Dark Patch. To here. And yeah, we'll just Calamity Storm for the knockout. Yep. Seems good. We're already cooking. Get out of here, Giratina. Zora's back. Okay, she's walking around. She's fine. Um, but yeah, we had so much fun talking to that opponent about their um their fighting deck. And then round seven, we played against a new player, and uh, you know, you, you, you think you is winnable, and uh, we dead drew game one and game two, and we barely lost. Uh, round eight, we, uh, unfortunately tied, and then by then, my friend was ready to go, and so I was like, yep, let's go. Um, so yeah, we learned pretty, I, I mean, it, it stinks, like, you start off the day winning, and you beat a hard matchup, right? I even talked with JW, and JW how was like, how do you beat that matchup? I was like, I, well, I got lucky, I got lucky game three, because they did, Drew, but, I mean, we were able to flip some catcher heads. Uh, this deck is playing catchers, which I think is the best variant. I agree with JW, JW, me and JW, me and JW play, like, a similar list, even though we didn't talk about the deck at all with each other, which is pretty funny. Uh, we came to the same conclusion that we think that the catcher build is the better build of the deck. Um, so that's pretty comical. Um, I'm going to set the cram here. Uh, we did discard more Pekko, which I guess is not really that useful right now. Uh, but we can... Hmm. I could just take a knockout this turn on this thing. And I do have Emergency Jelly, which is pretty sick. So we go Pokestop. Let's go Earth Vessel, discarding the VIP pass to get two. Hmm. What energies are in here? Or switch. Okay, just one switch card. Okay. Just one switch card. Just one switch card, Zora. Uh, so I'm gonna ultra discard in the Iono and Dark Energy. Let's see here. I could go for Rating or Ninja or another running room. I think Rating or Ninja might be better. So I could draw some cards. So let's go Rating or Ninja. Okay, so this is Salamence. That's pretty good. A Roaring Moon. Sorry, not Salamence. A Roaring Moon. Oh, there's a Catcher. I can save. Oh, come on, Catcher, baby. Let's go, catcher bill. Let's go. Bring this up. Attach for turn. Retreat the two to this. Put down a fresh one. If 
Uh, how many dark energy in here? Five. We'll Sada to this and this. Oh, we're cooking now. Oh, look at there. We can double E switch from the damaged one to the new new one. Just in case my opponent feels. Oh no, I meant to hit E switch. Whoops. Uh, we'll jelly here. I'm doing all kind of misclicks. I'm, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, but the emergency jelly will kick off, and we'll have 150 HP left. Nothing on the other side that can take a one hit, one hit knockout. Anything that does can hit one hit knockout. I can probably win the game because um, they play Gur Ninja, which means they probably play, they don't play Charizard. Obviously, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you still talking to him right now? You want to fight? You want to fight, Zora? Uh, but yeah, I, I, think the deck is, I think the deck is good. I think it's great. Um, it's just unfortunate that we had so many Radiant Zard decks. I had pretty sick opponents too, but it was like pretty nice and stuff. And I had so many people talk to me like always. It's always so great to meet people. Also, I had a lot of people compliment the new uh, playmat and the new logo and stuff. They said they loved it, which is great to hear. I always love to hear that as well. Um, so a lot of a lot of happening things this weekend, and it just made me so happy. Unfortunately, this is my last regionals, uh, next big tournament that I'll be going to is going to be the NIC. I just with six hundred points and everything else. And I know Pokemon isn't all about you know worlds and stuff like that. And I get that. I'm not trying to say that, but it's just like everything else is so far away, and I can't just justify it, especially having like the very lackluster city season. Um, even though we did like very well, like cups and challenges, and we were sitting like almost at three hundred points. And blah, 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 and whatever, whatever. Um, I just can't, like, justify the money to fly to other regionals or try to travel to other regionals um, when, like, I can't guarantee, like, a Worlds of Light. Once again, I know it's not all about Worlds of Light, and, and I, I get that. Um, but, yeah, I, I would definitely not be going to any more tournaments until NEIC. Um, and at least in NEIC, I can, like, fly and travel and explore, stuff like that. The only regionals I might would have gone to, and this is a big might, it's maybe Indianapolis and maybe even Orlando. Um, Orlando is a special place in my heart because it's like the one regionals I got to stream. Um, the only regionals there I got to stream. So that's, you know, unfortunate, you know. But anyways, uh, so that's why it's a place in my heart. Um, but yeah, we'll play one more game with Roaring Moon. Um, we we didn't hit any Lost Walks Kirtina. Um, or my last, uh, uh, round nine, I don't know who I played against. Um, I was already gone by then. It does, it does say I lost, oh, it had an L. So I went two five one is uh but technically I went two six one, um just because you know I didn't I didn't show for round nine uh, we were already out and about <laughs> leaving the place but yeah I mean the tournament was ran I think pretty smooth uh, we had a lunch break and I think everybody was still out by like nine nine thirty which is still crazy to think about that they played nine rounds with the twelve hundred masters and stuff like that um the lunch round was a pretty okay. But just think, if there wasn't a lunch break, we could have got out, we could have got out like 8-8, eight, eight maybe. Um, um, I understand the need for a lunch break sometimes, but like there was a concession stand and like, um, uh, oh my god, no, not Radiant Zard. Oh no, please just pass with Charizard on the active. Oh goodness, please let me knock this out. Let me get revenge, Pokemon. So we'll do this, we'll do this. We'll do these two. We'll grab a Mew EX. Yo, okay, okay, okay. It's prized. The squawk is prized. Let's go restart for two. Okay, we'll research. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, we have it. Yep, got it. So we do this for this. Get two darks. We can Ultra Ball, the Dark and Sada, to get Moltres. I didn't check to see if they're all in there, but there's Moltres right there. We'll get Moltres down. We'll Dark Energy. We'll Dark Patch. We'll Dire Flame Wings. We'll Force Seal Stone. I didn't check to see if all my Switch Outs are in there, but uh, hopefully they're in there. Uh, Start Alchemy. And there's my switch cart, grab a switch cart, and that is why Rory Moon is so strong. Like this, what does I mean this happens a lot for people? You just go and you're like, Yep, I just order bird turn one. Um, which is like sometimes you see it's a lot easier than setting up a roaring moon because you can like uh do dire you can do dire flamings and attach and use dark patch. 
All right? Uh, so we see that there. Yeah, no bench Pokemon from one So let's go. We took down Charizard. Ah! Um, <laughs> oh, it is a Charizard build too. It's not even like, it's not Lost Box. It's Charizard, Charizard. Yeah, get punished. Uh, which is like one of the downsides of playing Charizard with, with Radiant's Zard is you can start with it. And it's just hard to get to the Axe spot. Um, yeah. Uh, revenge. Revenge after all this talk. Uh, but I think the next guy, we saw Catcher. It came in clutch that game. I guess, like, we didn't necessarily need it, but it was cool to, like, use it. And then uh, save my supporter card for Sada. We're almost at, we're almost at Houndoom League. That's why I'm, like, my, like, ranking is so higher than usual because I've been playing, like, a lot. Um, but, yeah, I think the deck's good. I think it's fine. Um, you just gotta find a way to hit ready, like, beat ready at Zard. I don't know. What is this? Uh, remind me wrong. Um, I don't know, like, what other formats are in the future, like, what regionals are what. I have no idea if this is the last format. I know there's rotation with the hit and all that kind of fun stuff, but I don't, I don't know anything about that stuff because I haven't paid attention because I've been focused so much on Knoxville and stuff like that. Um, so this week, we'll probably just, like, recap my regionals overall um just like doing a recap of the whole year of all three tournaments even though i didn't didn't do hot any of them i think it's still interesting to talk about um thursday we'll do another deck profile and then friday we'll probably do another deck profile or maybe friday we'll break down all the different regional regions region, regionals that happen maybe i'll try to find like a spicy deck for thursday that i think is pretty uh, pretty fun and, and and could be like a fun deck to play right maybe we'll do that um, and then Friday we will cover like all the different things. And next week, I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet because the new form, new, new, um, set is like really not that game changing. Um, we maybe might play some fun decks and like try to build like rogue stuff. I just, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I'm just really not into it right now, unfortunately. Um, especially after doing bad, and, like had to back to back regionals and testing so much. So for Charlotte, I know I played Golden Go and I tested a bunch and then like it just like flopped because we just didn't set up. And this time it wasn't that we, we didn't set up. It was just that we just, Played rough matchups and it's just unfortunate. <sighs> Anyways, uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Test that Roaring Moon Catchers. I think it's fine. I know JW and the tag team are going to talk about it because uh, both JW and Jesse both did well with the deck. I think Jesse, it doesn't seem like Jesse's a big fan of the Catchers, but I think the Catchers is really neat. I think it's really good. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you've, if you've talked to me this weekend, you're the best, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty.